How many times have I been stopped? I've been stopped in Surich about 12 times. Three times. 20, 25 times. Oh, many times. In excess of 35 times. I think it's close to 30 times. You're kind of guilty until proved innocent with stop and search. It's like harassment. It's frightening to be viewed with suspicion at all times. You hear the siren behind you. You, you stop your car. Where have you come from? Where are you going? What's your name? They gather you up into a line, all stand there, one, 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 one. You're shouting statutes at me. Section 43 of the Terrorism Act, Section 60 of the Public Order Act. The stranger is actually just putting his hands in your pockets. They just touch you everywhere, from top to bottom. It's just, it feels very uncomfortable. He was pulling my head one direction, pushing me down in another direction. There was another guy holding my arm. There was another guy holding my other arm. Someone was going through my pockets. I actually asked him, but I was asking him about some directions. And he said, uh, and then his colleague came in and said, excuse me sir, we need to search you. I said, for what? I'm, I'm asking directions. He said, yeah, we'll give you directions, but we need to search you. It was just before his 17th birthday, and I gave him some money to go and visit the new Westfield. And he got on a train, got off at Stratford, where you have to do the interchange. And he and his friends were stopped on the platform and searched in front of people and asked why had he had all this money on him and he tried to explain it was because he was going shopping and he was so traumatised that he got back on the train and came home. Four times I've been stopped and searched at airports under Schedule 7 of the Terrorism Act. You're asked about your religion, uh, your religious practices, your affiliations to mosques or centres. I didn't like the way how they were assuming everything. Like, they assumed that I stolen a phone, assumed that we were out doing negative things, and then people just coming past, it's just, it, that's, that, that in itself is very embarrassing. I'd done nothing wrong, yet I'd been manhandled, I'd been accused, I'd had my hands put behind my back, I'd been embarrassed because people were walking around. I felt like I needed a shower after. I felt really inadequate, I felt, I felt dirty, I did, I felt really bad, it, you know. It, you looked at a certain way, you are treated a certain way, you are actually guilty. I'm being stopped by the police. Everybody walking past, driving past thinks I'm a criminal. As far as I was concerned, I got stopped then because it was a black guy driving the car. Black guy with a gold credit card. I look foreign, that's probably why. You wear a tracksuit or you wear a cap, you might have a hoodie on. They don't understand the fact that you can be a young man who dresses in a street manner and actually not be a criminal. I really didn't feel like when I'm walking down the road, someone will have to stop me and start searching and ruffle up my clothes and stuff like that. I was never comfortable with that. I don't have as much confidence in the police as maybe wider society does, and that's not fair because I'm a British citizen. There is a kind of like feeling of kind of us against them. They make him feel worthless, that they make him feel that he's somebody that they can stop and rough up whenever they please. To have that continual reminder that actually, you know, you're always going to be a little bit outsider. There's, there's something about you that is going to make you be stopped and searched more than a lot of other people. Well, it happens so frequently. You start thinking, okay, something's not right here. They may think it's okay to sacrifice other people's liberty for their own security, but it's not even increased security. It has a horrible effect on you. It's belittling. They need to understand the damage that it, that it causes. It can have such, a, such an effect on their sense of belonging, on their identity. If that's normalised, then what kind of a state are we living in? <laughs> <laughs>